Hello everyone. This is a continuation from the previous lecture. So in this lecture, we are just going to build the Proteus circuit for interfacing DS1307 with our microcontroller PIC16 of 877A. And then we are going to write some functions that are used for interfacing DS1307 with our microcontroller. Let's get started. So this is the Proteus circuit. You can see the LCD is connected to D port that is the data lines of the LCD is connected to D port of the microcontroller and RS RW enable is connected to RB0, RB1 and RB2 and the DS1307 will be connected to the microcontroller using two pins as we know one is serial clock and serial data so serial clock pin of our microcontroller is RC3 and serial data is RC4 so we are connecting these two buses and for these two buses we will be giving pull ups as we know when we configure this microcontroller in i2c mode these two pins will be in open drain configuration we saw what is open drain configuration and why we need these pull ups in the i2c working lecture if you have any queries you can go back to that lecture and you can learn that now this is all about the circuit that we want and we will go for the programming part and initially if you take the data sheet of DS1307 you can see the first pin is the X1 and second pin is the X2 so these two are the crystal oscillator pins for the IC and using this pins you can provide a 32.768 kHz crystal for the internal operation of this IC and third pin is VBAT this is used for providing a battery backup for the IC and it can be 3 volt lithium cell and the fourth pin is ground and fifth and sixth are SDI and SCL that is used for communication and seventh pin is used for generating PWM using this IC we will not be using this and the eighth pin is the power supply pin VCC so that's all about the pin nodes of the IC and one, one more important thing is that this IC is working in a frequency of 100 kHz. So we will be configuring the I2C bus of our microcontroller at 100 kHz speed. And you can see this DS1307 is full binary coded decimal format IC. So the data that we are writing to the IC and we are reading from the IC will be in the form of BCD. So whatever data that is coming from this IC will be in the form of BCD. So we just want to convert that data into ASCII before printing that to the LCD as well as we just want to convert the data that is from decimal to BCD before sending that to this IC. So we will write two functions for doing this purpose. That you can see we will write two functions decimal to BCD and BCD to ASCII. This is for transferring the data from our microcontroller to DS1307 and this is for printing the data that we are receiving from the DS1307 to the LCD. So let's see the first function that is decimal to BCD. It receives a, param it receives a parameter value and it is of written type char. So it can this function can return a data of type char. And inside this we are declaring three variables that is MSB, LSB and hex. So this MSB is used for storing the MSB of this value and LSB is used for storing the LSB of this variable value and this hex is used for storing the BCD value of this value variable. As you can see the MSB is stored in the, the MSB variable, LSB is stored in the LSB variable and after that you can see this MSB is left shifted by four times that will go to the most significant bit of the 8 bit register and LSB will be positioned in the LSB of the 8 bit register. So if you add these two bits you will get a 8 bit data that we are storing in the hex. So using this format we are converting the decimal value into BCD before sending that to the DS1307. And next function is BCD to ASCII function. This is used for printing the data that we are receiving from the DS1307. So this also receives a parameter value. Once it is received, we are storing that value to the variable called BCD. And then we are masking the MSB of the bits by performing under operation of that value with the 0x F0. 
once it is masked only the msb of the data will be available so we are moving the msb data to the lsb by right shifting by four times so after this we will be converting this hexa value into ascii by ORing it with 0x30 and then suddenly after that we are printing the data to the lcd and after that again we are storing the same value that is this thing to the bcd variable and now we are masking the lsb of the data by performing under operation of this data with 0x 0f once it is done we need not shift the data because it is already available in the lsb so we are directly ORing it with 0x30 for converting it into ascii once after that we will be printing the data to the lcd and that's it the data gets printed in the lcd by this function and after that you can see we just want to declare few macros for register definition of this ic as you can see so this is the data write format for this ic and here you can see this is the slave address double one zero one zero 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 so these seven bits are address and this is the read or write bit so for writing to this ic the address is 0xd0 and for reading from that ic the address is 0xd1 and let's see the register configuration of this ic and this is the register configuration of this ic and in the address 00 that is 0x00 seconds register is located and in 01 minutes is located and in 02 is having hours 03 is having day 04 is having date 05 is having month and 06 is having year and 07 is having a control register that is used for controlling the pwm output so we will not be using this so we will define the macros for these addresses as i said this is the device address ts1307 address 0xd0 and second minute hour day date month year and control register these are the address of the corresponding registers we have to define this in our program and as i said in the previous lecture we are just going to start with this address and we are going to write 8 bytes of data that will be stored in the seconds minutes hours day date month and year and as well as for this control registers we will give the value 0x00 to this control register and and when we try to read 8 bytes of data from this 00 address we will be reading all these register values and the once the data is written to this seconds minutes hours day date month and year the updation of the seconds minutes hours day date month and year is done automatically by the internal frequency on operation of this ds1307 so we need not bother about that in the program our process is just to monitor and read the data in a regular routine in our program so that's all for this lecture we will see the programming and we will finalize the simulation and hardware output in the next lecture thanks for watching